Texas small estate affidavit applies to small estates that have no known will. A successor can avoid probate by using this document to claim assets or authority as the estate's personal representative. In this video, we'll talk about the maximum estate value, the waiting period, the signing requirements, the motor vehicle affidavit, and the steps to file the affidavit. Make sure to grab your template for a Texas small estate affidavit at the end of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content from eForms, the world's largest database of legal documents. To begin, let's talk about the maximum estate value. In order to be considered small in Texas, an estate's value must be no more than $75,000. This includes financial assets and the assessed value of actual property. Next, we'll discuss the waiting period. In order to give successors some time to find a potential written will, petitioners have to wait a minimum of 30 days after the deceased passing before filing a small estate affidavit. Next, there are a few signing requirements. Of course, the petitioner has to sign the affidavit, but they must also do so in the presence of two witnesses and a notary public. The witnesses must also sign and the notary public must sign and affix their seal. So what about the motor vehicle affidavit? Motor vehicles require a specific affidavit called the Affidavit of Airship for a motor vehicle. It must be filed with the DMV local to where the vehicle was registered. Okay, so now what are the steps to file an affidavit? Follow these steps to quickly file a small estate affidavit in Texas. Step one, gather information. While waiting the mandatory 30 days, gather all of the information needed for the affidavit. Learn whether the estate's debts outweigh its assets. If so, the affidavit won't be valid. Step two, prepare the affidavit. Complete the entire Texas small estate affidavit for which you'll get a download link at the end of this video. Step three, identify witnesses. Choose two disinterested parties to act as the signing witnesses. They can't be related to the decedent in any way. Step four, get the forms notarized. Step five, file with probate court. Step six, distribute affidavit. So where can you find legal documents online? Click the button to the right of this video for a Texas small estate affidavit. If you are in need of an estate planning checklist, a last will and testament, power of attorney, or any other form, we have thousands of state-specific ready-to-go templates available to help you stay prepared and organized.